You see, one of my most requested things in Planet Zoo would be to get null paths. Null, like, elevated paths and stuff like that. That would be so good for so many things. Well, I just realized we could actually do that already. So, if you guys already take a look over here, uh, do keep in mind I am using mods for this little thing over here. So, when you guys do install the free build mod, you will be able to do stuff like this. But I decided I wanted to do a little bit of a tutorial on how to get, like, these null paths to work in your game. So, do keep in mind, you will need Kai's free build mod. It's an insanely awesome mod that lets you do so many different things. I mean, hold on. We can do stuff like this already, alright? We can do giant terraforming, kind of like this all at once. But, besides that point, we're focusing on actual null paths. So, over here, I have a few little different things. I kind of put together this quick little demo area using the Babarusas, easily one of my favorite Planet Zoo animals. Look at them. They look so good. I don't know. I always love these guys. But anyways, as I get more distracted than ever, we can simply move this out of the way, and you can see that the guests still do float in the air. That is because there technically is a path there, but we just terraformed it out of the way, the visuals of it at least. So, if we put that back right there, we can definitely show you how to achieve something like this. So, what you're going to want to do is determine where you actually want your elevated path to be. Uh, one of the reasons why you love this technique so much is that you don't get these unslightly kind of curbs up there. Say, for example, you're using the aquatic path mod that I just released, a really awesome mod at that. Uh, while I do love those barriers over there, I don't really love that, like, curb over there. Same goes for, like, any of these other ones. The curb is always probably one of the most unslightly things over there. So this essentially gives you a way to get, like, past that. Uh, so without further ado, I'm just gonna build a path over here using that beautiful arctic wood texture. And what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to determine your path first. So if you are upgrading a current habitat to have a walk over, uh, you're going to need to retrofit it eventually. But all that being said, you're going to want to determine where you actually want your path to go over. Uh, so essentially, if you're making like a river underpass, kind of like what I did over there, you'll want to bring it down all the way down to like the water level that you probably want. So maybe something like that. So moving on through here, you're just going to want to hold X while you have the flatten to formation, well flatten to foundation tool selected. And you're going to want to just simply drag it over. Now you're going to notice once you start doing this that the path will kind of slope down. That won't affect guests at all. You can actually see that they don't really dip at all. They simply just walk across it as if it didn't move in the slightest. So, we're just going to hold X and push it right up like that. And so if we add, I don't know, let's just say some rough water right there. And let's actually connect this up there really quickly. And I'll tell you what, we could do something over here too. We could have a little bit of fun. If we say want to add some animals in here, we could do so by adding like, you know, your little habitat gate. And we could add a little bit of fences all around it. Nothing too crazy. We're going to be adding fish into this one. So we could get like a nice little, you know, nice fish walk over. So we could just change the color of that. Go to crystal. Why not? I always love like that clean water. And then say for example, what mod have I been working on? I'm going to put some perch in here. We get to see some good old American yellow perch. These guys are beautiful, and I really do like these guys. So if we're gonna just move these guys into that habitat, we gotta make sure that this is all connected first. And once we actually do move these guys in here, we should see them start to use that water, and we will start to see guests actually walk over it. So I'm not gonna go through a whole droll of me recreating this bridge again. I'm just gonna use the same one from before. Uh, obviously you guys can go wild with this, like, little technique. It's gonna be so cool to see just what you guys actually do with this. I love seeing you guys actually build the aquariums, and I know that this is going to help so much when it comes to that stuff. I know you guys are gonna do such cool things with this. Uh, but over here, we can see that we now have a functional, like, bridge. And of course, it's not really perfect right now, so if you guys do want it to be that perfect height, 
You guys can just lower it to be flush with the feet. And if we pop ourselves up here, we can see our fish starting to make our way into our waterways. And look how good they move. Okay, we got to give some love to Buff Zoo once again because these guys move extremely well. But if we kind of find our way out of the water so we could actually see what it looks like. Look at that, guys. We finally get null bridges. We get custom bridges. Even, hold on, this is one that I've always wanted to do. Uh, I just gotta remove these pieces first. And actually, we're just having fun with this at this point. This isn't even tutorial anymore. This is just leap having fun. If we do get glass pieces, you guys know where I'm going with this. If we get some glass pieces, maybe roof? And we push that right over there. We could get glass bottom floors, which I know is going to be so cool for so many of you guys. Because I remember back in like the Palsley days, he did like those glass overlooks when it came to like his crocodiles. And just having that is amazing. Unfortunately, transparency doesn't come through over there. But if I do plop down like, you know, maybe like a full rock right there. And we plop ourselves onto it. Also using the advanced Tejid cam. Look at that. We finally get like glass bottom uh, actual habitat things. So that's really awesome right there. So we got to give some love to Kai. We got to give some love to NDP over here uh, for the full rock pack. Look how beautiful this looks. Like this took me no time at all to build. Uh, and what else? We gotta give some love to Buff Zoo as well. But this is insane to have, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on how to get these. Again, I'll go over it once more. If you guys are hoping to have a path that kind of branches off, hell, you can even do that to existing paths. You can just lower it down right there and push it up like that. Easy as that, it's one of my favorite tricks in the game now. I can't wait to start building with all these techniques because it's going to be so insane to see. I can't wait to see everything that you guys do with this trick. It's going to be so awesome. Oh my gosh. But all that being said, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by. We could end it over here with our little babarusas. Yeah, why not? Um, look at them go. I love these guys so much. But uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. I always do appreciate the support. You guys can subscribe if you want. I'm not going to force you. I always love it if you guys do, but hey, yeah, it's totally fine. Moving on from there, thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Take care, and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.